Ronnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. I want to give you a few tips for the holidays. I know because I, in my life, I've had many times where I'm around people, family and friends or whatever during the holidays. And oftentimes there's dissension, there's anger, frustration, sadness. There's all the old, old stuff coming to the surface when we're around our family. And here's the thing. Ultimately, this is the truth. Ultimately, everyone has love for their parents, their siblings, their family, all right? Your children, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles. Ultimately, in the very core, there is only love, all right? Also, early in your life, when you were a baby, infant, you did love your mother, father intensely. You loved them. They were creator. Okay, so... Being in the holidays, again, you know, we're sometimes in situations we don't necessarily want to be, or we find ourselves, you know, resisting or resenting or not feeling good. Okay, so here's what we do. We bring our awareness behind our eyes, and then we bring our awareness down to the heart chakra. All right, now in the heart chakra, there is love. So what we do is, first, we want to activate that love. All right, so easy to activate. Think about someone you do love, someone you like being around, or maybe even a critter, like if you have a dog, a cat, a bird, or whatever, and something that you do love, okay? So the thing is, is you want to feel that love, all right? And then you just kind of remind yourself, oh yeah, this love I love, I have the same love for everyone, okay? So you, you feel into that frequency and feel that love. And then when you're uh, with your friend, family and friends, you're holding that energy. You have an awareness of that energy because you've already been there. Okay. You've landed in here, you've activated it. And once you've activated it, it's easy to just remember that. Okay. So when you're around people, keep looking for this, keep accessing this, keep holding that frequency of love. Even if you think about your little pet or your, your love, someone you really love. And so no matter what somebody's doing, no matter how they're acting, behaving, no matter what they're saying, keep just feeling this love. And pretty soon it's kind of a cool experience because the truth is everyone's got wounding and the truth and everyone is really doing their best. If they could do it different, they would. Okay. So people are asleep. They're not like tr intentionally trying to cause harm. I mean, there's a handful that might be, but most people are not trying to hurt you. They don't, they're not trying to maliciously cause you harm or make you suffer, okay? They're just asleep doing what they do with their wounded, wounding deep inside, okay? So basically you just find that love within, no matter where you are, you keep bringing your awareness to this love. And then pretty soon you'll start seeing people acting out, doing their thing, and it'll actually be funny. Okay, it'll be a, it'll be kind of cute, kind of funny. And then you and you just keep reminding yourself, oh, yeah, they're asleep. They're asleep. Oh, they're broken. They're shattered. They're wounded. Oh, well, so is everyone. All right. So activating that frequency is one way to, to maintain feeling more at peace, being able to be around people. And then another thing that people do, and it's kind of funny, is is you just, pre, you know, when someone's doing what they do, make, turn them into some kind of character, caricature, okay? Make them look funny in your mind's eye, okay? So let's just say your mother is requesting you to do something and she's like got a, you know, mad face or resentful face or whatever that is that triggers you. And what you do is in your mind's eye, you just make them into this funny looking being and so make their actions all funny and whatever they're doing, make it all just funny. And in some ways, it, it just starts to crack you up. It makes things lighter, funnier, loosen things up, not so serious, okay? And, you know, other thing, another thing you can do is, you know, just get, before you go somewhere, before you're going to wherever you're going, okay? Wherever family members or whatever, take a little time, go to your bedroom, bathroom, wherever you gotta go and have your fit. <laughs> have your meltdown, have your anger, have your resentment, get the energy out so it's not in you, okay? So you're feeling resentment or you're feeling an angst or you're feeling uh, anxiety or you're feeling hurt or whatever that is. And rather than carrying it to wherever you're going, do some inner work, okay? Do some writing, do non-dominant handwriting, uh, do something where you're actually feeling these emotions 
so that you can lighten them up. Meaning if your cup is running over of emotions, empty that cup a little bit, okay? Get some of these energies out, anger, frustration, whatever, but cry it out, scream it out, rage it out, punch it out, beat it out, strangle it out, whatever you gotta do, but have fun with it and know that you wanna be in a different space when you are around your the family or the people that you'll be around during the holidays, okay? These are simple, easy things that anyone can do and they do work and they do make a difference. All right, let's get out there and let's just have fun and let's just smile a lot, laugh a lot and make life fun and easy for everyone you are around. And just as you know, this is a great way to uh, learn more about spiritual acceleration. If you're not familiar with this, our website, we have lots of wonderful free gifts and lots of cool things that will help you, you know, discover more about how do you wake up? How do you end your suffering? How do you get liberated? That's what we're all about is liberation. So check us out at spiritualacceleration.com. Look for our free gifts and also look for what we, what we offer. All right. Hope to see you there.